Okay, guys, this is going to be my review for the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Spotless Mind. Um, this was a very interesting movie where at first, like, you kind of have no idea what's going on, and you start to really understand what's going on throughout the movie, and you never really fully understand it. It's just, I think at the end of the day, what you kind of realize about this film is it's just crazy. And it's just fast, and it's so interesting because it's cra- because of how crazy it is, how bonkers it is. But it works because it's just so... I, I think it works, honestly, for the reason that it almost feels like this movie was like a documentary. Like, like they made this movie as, like, a documentary. The way, like, it felt very low budget, very, you know, poor graphics. But that was the point. This, I felt like a very much stylistic choice. And again, inside the mind itself, very interesting. And it, it, it was just so interesting seeing how... Joel's mind is wired, and I think it's very interesting seeing a relationship, seeing a a uh, love story inside someone's brain as the person they love is being forgotten is such an interesting concept. This idea of erasing someone from your memory and then you get to visually see it happen while you're learning about their different dates and their different times as they're going through childhood and they're just going through his mind and look looking at the good stuff the bad and the ugly or whatever and it was so interesting where it's like the concept and premise and then you even have the characters outside of joel's mind that are not um clementine and joel and you got you know the the the, the kind of story the, the kind of subplot going on with with them that works and so I just think it, you get a film that just is very unique and very its own and I think it works. Um, I guess the one thing I will say is you never um, really because you never really get to see the relationship between Joel and Clementine outside of Joel's mind. You don't really get a sense of their their love. I mean, you get a sense of their chemistry, but you don't really get a sense of their long lasting love because. The only really parts we see of them together besides after they have forgotten each other has been them, okay, we're about to, you know, okay, we're showing a little bit of them together and then them remembering that um, Clementine is being erased. So you don't really get a full sense of, of their their love. But other than that, I, I really do think it was a very good and entertaining movie.